asked her to wake me up when she got home, like she always does, and she said, okay, and thanks, Mama, love you. And that's the last I ever heard from her. I don't know how I'm doing. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, every day is been a roller coaster. I just want my daughter home. I just, I just want my daughter home. I just want to give her a hug. I just want to know where she is. I just want to know what happened. Don't forget, like the words of Kylie's father says, she's your girl too. She is your girl. Born and raised, Kylie Rodney. I believe that that's one of the reasons that the local response has been what it is because everyone who you talk to who knows her has a love and a special connection with her, whether it's parents who, um, you know, who, who she babysits their children, or whether it's people who have met her at the local tea shop where she works, whether it's people who climb with her at the gym, or, her, you know, fellow students and friends at the school, just, um, If you met Kylie, she was like really honest and she was like really badass. She was like, you like saw her and you were like, she, I want to be her. Like she is so cool. She's strong. Like she didn't let anybody like overpower her. Like It's just hard to think about that somebody you saw like a couple weeks ago is just not here anymore. It's it's just hard to wrap your head around. It's like we all like put so much like into like going to look for her and like putting up posters and then just the fact that she's just like, we all know that she's just not around anymore. It's just, it just kills the whole community. It's just, it's hard. We hold her up with, with all the good that she was. She was just like, She's just a beautiful soul. You know, she's so sweet and so vibrant. If your child wants to go to a party or go somewhere, make sure they go with someone and make sure they return with those people. Don't leave anybody behind. Kylie's just like... She's just such a fabulous girl. Like, that was her favorite word. She's going around everywhere. This is fabulous. This is fabulous. Kylie's fabulous. You know, we all love Kylie so much. And we miss her. Um... graduated high school at 16 with high honors. She's so intelligent and beautiful and just such a kind and wonderful person. She was always singing, singing in the car, singing all the time, singing everything. Um, I know she liked to play the guitar a lot. She knew a lot of a lot of instruments. This is tough. This is supposed to happen here. She was just like, she's just a beautiful soul. You know, she's so sweet and so vibrant.
friends who was at the party. I need her to come home and I need us to find her. I just, we just want her home. We're so scared and we miss her so much and we love her so much. And Kylie, we love you. And if you see this, please just, please just come home. I want nothing more than to hug you. We believe out of the two to 300 juveniles and young adults who were at that party, somebody must know something. I love her so, so much. So many people love you. And we're all looking and we're all we're trying so, so hard. And I'm so sorry we haven't found you yet, but we're not giving up. And and um, and just hang in there, sweetie, because we'll find you soon. We'll bring you home. You know, it, it, it just, it does feel important for a lot of people that, 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 that we know that justice has been found and served for Kylie because she doesn't have a voice anymore. What does justice for Kylie mean to me? Well, for starters, I believe that whoever played a role in what happened to Kylie between August 5th and 6th should be held accountable for the things that she will never get to experience. Things like experience in college. I mean, she graduated from high school a year early only to never get to set foot on her college campus, never get to attend one college course, and she'll never get to graduate from that college. She'll ne never get to rent an apartment. She'll never get to start her first career and possibly get to do her dream job later in life. She'll never get to experience real, true love. She'll never experience the excitement of getting engaged or being walked down the aisle to get married. She'll never get to buy a house or her own car. She'll never have the ability to write any more beautiful, soul-touching music. She'll never have the opportunity and the wonderment of having a baby or the experience and excitement of a gender reveal party or shopping for her baby or the joy of a baby shower. She'll never experience the unconditional love that comes with having a baby. But the biggest injustice of all is that she'll never get to grow old. So getting justice for Kylie isn't so much of simply holding those accountable who played a role in whatever happened to her. It's holding them accountable for every single experience that was taken and stolen from her. Justice for Kylie. I have to wonder whether there is something that you know, but it's one of them, well, what good is it going to do? It's going to do more hurt to the community. When It's not going to bring Kylie back. So let's let sleep and dogs lie. Well, fuck that. People deserve better than that. You ask to look inward. Um, the motives, our motives are plain and simple to obtain the truth. That's what we want to do. We want to get to the truth. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. And it should be all that matters to you. And when people have been down to where Kylie was found and they see her grandfather, her father sitting, staring at the water, what are they staring for? I'll tell you what they're staring for. They're staring for answers. They're looking into that water, wanting to know what happened. And you can't deny people that. You can't deny those that want answers to get them. Wanting to stay focused on Kylie until Kylie finds justice. Um, she needs help. She needs help. Um, that poor, poor girl that should be alive, that should be 17, that should be studying music at Sierra College, preparing to study medicine at Santa Cruz, um, you know, dating, having fun. Um, her life was just stolen from her. Kylie was also ridiculously talented like off the chain ridiculously talented if you've seen some of these videotapes of her performing when she was tiny 
as tiny as three years old, I think she was playing a little fiddle. Oh my God, like the cutest thing in the world. With the start of Kylie Rodney Case, I was just enamored at what a beautiful person she seemed to be. And there wasn't a whole lot out there, so it was hard to get to know her really well. And then more and more kind of came out that, you know, people sleuthed and found. And as it has gone on almost a year, I am still fighting for justice for Kylie because I feel that there is definitely something nefarious that happened to this young lady. And she t stole my heart. And I can't imagine losing a child like this and I would move the ends of the earth to find out exactly what happened. Justice for Kylie Rodney. Dear Kylie, I can't even find the appropriate words to describe and emphasize the importance and dedication we all have into allowing you the justice and dignity you so deserve. To be taken so young, so full of life, with your whole future ahead of you, I'm sure that you would have gone on to excel and do wonderful things and live a prosperous and full life. A life that was cruelly denied to you. You were failed in so many ways by so many people. This is the reason why we will not fail you, Kylie. Justice may never be served, but rest assured we will never stop trying to bring it to you. The truth will prevail. Rest in peace, Kylie. It's a hard thing to be courageous, and it's okay to be scared, and it's also okay and important to, to act on that courage and, and to come forward. And there are some downright troubling lack of responsibility and sweeping over the evidence that has been done by Nevada County Sheriff's Department. And I specifically asked, is Sam Brown in charge of this investigation? And the answer that I got was, Captain Sam Brown is overseeing the investigation. Well, that makes it even worse because when you add on that label, Captain, that makes people think that there is some excellence involved in his position. People need to demand accountability for Kylie. Whomever did this must answer for it. That is sick. How many, how many other girls come after Kylie? If whoever did this to Kylie doesn't, is a force to take responsibility, then how many other girls later on, maybe next year, maybe five years from now, who else gets damaged? by the person that hurt Kylie. That's the, that's my big question. It doesn't matter if it was your child. It doesn't matter if it was your friend's child. Sooner or later, they will hurt again. Right then and there, they knew something bad happened, Kylie. Right here, they knew it wasn't an accident. Right there, that very moment. But why, why, why? <laughs> why, why did they accept that?
There's nothing more to say.